So XYZ Festival, Madolce is the deck, let me tell you. All right. You may be looking at this thinking, Diego, what are you doing? This is for the XYZ Festival. This deck looks absolutely terrible. Well, let me explain to you some of the theory behind it. Um, first of all, I don't have the cards. Uh, you know, maybe I'll get some packs, maybe I'll get some secret rares, maybe I'll get some URs. Uh, maybe I won't. Uh, maybe I'll throw some real money into this game, maybe I won't. You know, uh, I'd like to post a video showing, uh, you know, how far I can get in this game doing just uh, uh, free-to-play stuff. But, you know, if it's if it is about getting these URs before the XYZ Festival happens, I, I may need to throw some in-real-life money to get some digital cardboard. But, I don't know. All right, so let me just get into uh, the theory behind this deck, right? All right, Medolches are a high-risk, high-reward combo deck, right? The point of Medolches is to... Uh, basically, they e each have an effect that shuffles themselves into the deck if they're destroyed. And then the spells kind of give you advantage for when they get shuffled into the deck. So uh, Chateau makes it so if they would be shuffled into the deck, they return to the hand. Ticket makes it so that when a Medolce is shuffled into the deck, you add a Medolce to your hand, and if you control Fairy, you special summon it. And then uh, Salon gives you an extra normal summon and then also lets you set a Medolce spell or trap from the deck after you go through with your summon. I can show you some Medolce combos later, uh, but let me tell you, Medolce is the deck for um, the XYZ Festival. Uh, I kind of have some like theory O type stuff uh, in here, some definitely super weird stuff. Like what is this penguin soldier doing here? I'll explain in a second. All right. Now, uh, the main combo with Medolce's is Angeli. Angeli gets the Hoot Cake. Hoot Cake summons out the Pudding Sessor, which summons the Pet Pudding Sess, which lets you XCs either into Queen Tiaramisu or Teacher to then extend further. Then you can stack the Chocolate Emote to summon more. You get your spells, you just keep gaining advantage. And the absolute best card is Queen Tiaramisu, which shuffles two of your opponent's cards on the field into the deck without targeting, right? So, so powerful. Your biggest weakness playing Medulla Chase is Hand Traps. You know, Ash, uh, Valor, Imperm, like they can they can really stop your plays early. And if you don't have the Salon to get the extra normal summon, um, that can kind of mess you up. You know, uh, so we are playing three Herald of Orange Light to hopefully negate their hand traps because we're playing so many fairies, right? So we can discard one of the fairies from our hand and the Orange Light and their thing and their plays. Um. And Pot of Prosperity, I think Pot of Prosperity is so good in Master Duel. Uh, I think it's one of the best pot cards, especially in just like a best of one format. It helps you get into the right card that you need. Um, I just love Pro Pot of Prosperity. That's probably one of the best draw supporters in the game. Uh, and I think for Master Duel, especially the like best of one, where you need to get into like a certain thing, uh, it helps a lot. All right, so... That's the main, like, Medolce core. I have a Medolce core, uh, you know, two of all the good Medolce cards, and then I got a lot of, a lot of spicy choices, you know. So, this is pure Theorio, pure my predictions for what will happen in the Xyz Festival, right? Now, I just want to, to start off, I just want to get the most out of the deck. I want to summon a lot, right? So, what am I playing? Junk forward, right? So, if my Medolce Hoot Cake gets impermed. Before I summon the Hoot Cake, I want to be able to junk forward. So I have two level three earth monsters on the field so I can overlay and start going into other plays. So even if this gets impermed, I still have other plays available to me. And they also might think twice about imperming my Hoot Cake when I can just XC summon so easily. So they might not imperm the Hoot Cake, which should actually be very good for me. Um, but I can overlay to Soul of Silver Mountain. Two level three earth monsters. This is an old school XCs card. This might not be the best thing ever, but hey, we can summon it. You can target a set spell or trap card on the field. It cannot be activated while it's on the field. And when it destroys a monster by battle, you target an earth monster in the graveyard to special summon it. So all of the Medolches are earth, so you can, when you destroy something, you can get back an earth, and then you can also prevent their back row from going off. 
now we are playing level threes so we should put in the phantom knight engine of course why not so phantom knight of silent boots can help us search out the fog blade and then because we are playing level threes we can go into the uh Knight, phantom knight's breaksword we can break something on the field and then if this card is destroyed we can destroy itself and then target phantom knights with the same level in our grave and special summon them increase the level by one so that we can go into level fours like abyss dweller or tornado dragon which are the cards that i don't have quite yet We'll see if I'm able to get these cards in time. Maybe we'll just play pure Medolce's, not the spicy stuff. But, you know, this is this is the really the really fun version of the deck. Now, of course, we're playing Call by the Grave because hand traps crush us. So we want to be able to crush the hand traps back. But you may be asking, what's this? This is a weird hand trap. Flying C. This is the hand trap you want to play for the XYZ Festival. This is a normal normal rarity card you know common when your opponent normal summons a monster except during the damage step you can normal or special summons never mind normal or special summons you can special summon this card to your opponent's field in defense the controller of this card cannot exceed summon right so you can just get in the middle of their combo they can't exceed summon they don't have links they don't have synchros what are they going to do you know flying c is the xc's counter so we're playing two of those now why are we not playing three because our opponent could potentially not be playing um xc's you know a big threat could potentially be eldlich or decks that just don't even go into the extra deck so grand maju eldlich I'm kind of I'm kind of thinking this is going to happen. So, what are we playing to counter the Eldritch? Paleozoic Dinomiscus. If we banish the Golden Lord, there's nothing we can do, right? So, Paleozoic Dinomiscus, we can discard a card and then banish a face-up card on the field. So, we can banish something that might be a brick, say we can discard something that might be a brick, say Flying C, maybe Junk Forward isn't helping us. Yeah, maybe we top deck junk, junk forward. Maybe we just need to get one of our Phantom Knights into the grave so that we can search. So, Paleozoic Dynamiscus is there to discard one of the cards that we're not using into our hand into the grave. Maybe this can be material for Hoot Cake to banish in order to start special summoning. And we can just banish the Golden Lord. We can also just banish any problem monster. We can interrupt plays. Paleozoic Dynamiscus is so good, but it's especially good against Eldritch because once that Golden Lord is banished, they have no way of getting it back, right? We play three. We banish three Golden Lords. We've won the game, right? But Paleozoic Dynamiscus also has a second use. What is that? You can special summon it back as a token. It's like, not a token, as a trap monster, right? It becomes level two aqua right so if we have paleozoic dynamiscus and hmm, let's say another level two aqua we can exceed and overlay into totally awesome so uh we have the totally awesome in here just so that we can get like additional plays out of uh using the paleozoic dynamiscus now what is the level two aqua we decide to play of all the level two aquas to overlay with paleozoic dynamiscus we chose penguin soldier right penguin so for those of you who were not playing the game in 2013 when xyz was ever the entire format the entire competitive Yu-Gi-Oh format was the xyz festival you know extra x were just 15 xyz cards links didn't exist synchros had kind of been phased out you know uh, a lot of the powerful tuners were banned right like glow up bulb or whatever not glow up bulb what's the other one lone fire blossom right so Xyz monsters? How do you get around Xyz monsters? You know, you would set Penguin Soldier, and they'd be like, oh, I have nothing. Attack into it with an Evil Swarm Ophion. And Penguin Soldier, target two monsters on the field, return them to the hand. Just send Xyz monsters back to the extra deck. So Penguin Soldier is here as a meme, kind of like, uh, you know, you know, like maybe they deal with our board a little bit. They summon something. We set Penguin Soldier. They go, oh, they just set him a Dolce. Let's attack into it. And we send the XCs back to their hand. Is it the best thing ever? No, but it is a powerful, powerful, spicy meme that I don't think anyone in the XCs festival is ready for. And then against the decks that are not XCs, like Eldritch, we can normal summon it after we've used Paleozoic Dynamiscus to overlay into the totally awesome. So that's our other level two Aqua, right? What else do we have here? Forbidden Chalice. Why do we have Forbidden Chalice? Because if our opponent summons a Flying C to our side of the field to interrupt our combo, we can just Forbidden Chalice our own, the Flying C on our side of the field to negate its effects. So then we can just start overlaying and exceeding into it. Also notice Flying C is a level three earth. So we can go into these level threes like number 75, Bamboozling Gossip Shadow. But we can also go into 
the Soul of Silver Mountain, which requires the level 3 Earth. So they just give us the Soul of Silver Mountain off of playing Flying Sea if we t are lucky enough to top deck the Forbidden Chalice. All right, so I think that's all of the spice that I have in it. I threw Phantom Knights in here. I threw a level 2 Aqua Engine, Paleozoic Dynamiscus, Junk Forwards in here. Uh, this is my absolutely crazy xyz festival deck i hope this go i hope this works out good for me i am currently missing like three ultra rares and then some secrets for this oh why are we playing two pudding sets so normal normal medol chase plays one pudding sets we're playing two pudding sets because it's just becomes another out to maxi not maxi sorry flying c it becomes another out to flying c so basically if this card battles the opponent's monster uh we can destroy one of their cards um and then if they summon this, like if they summon this on us and we've just special summoned or we have the extra normal summon from the Medolce Salon, we can just tribute the Flying Sea to normal summon the Pudding Sess because this is a level 5. Um, but if we're able to get the Pudding Sess on board somewhere else, like for example with Petting Sessor, we can just attack into the Flying, we can attack into their monster, destroy it, and then destroy another card on the field. Um... So it becomes just another out, and then it can't hurt to have multiples of these because it's a fairy, and we want to discard fairies with Herald of Orange Light to negate their monster effects. So this is my spicy, spicy XYZ Festival deck. Um, yeah, hopefully you guys took some notes, uh, learned a lot. Hopefully this deck works out great. Uh, you know, it's a high-risk combo deck, and we squeezed, like, a ton of memes in there. So, you know, we'll wait and see how this XYZ Festival goes you know nobody is ready for for a, a medolce deck that is this insane yeah thank you guys for watching i appreciate everyone who watches um my content yeah thank you guys so much Bye bye